right, here we are. 828 in the morning. It's still 54223 this Thursday. Yeah, uh, the video beforehand was trying to talk about me and my little volume issues because I've I had to go back to the other to the other videos to take a look to see what the hell was going on and then notice the volume level sucked. Well that apology level at this point. I have to be more aware of how much I'm going to be cranking out in the volume because apparently my usual talking patterns drive people nuts. And it's driving me nuts too now as I think about it. Okay, what's going on in the news right now? Well, four out of five proud boys. Um, last night I was having issues regarding sleeping, like in the middle of the night, not because of the biological relief break, but, I don't know, something was triggering me mentally at this point, who knows is it, and I came across a few videos that really got to me, one was, below, was politics, and the other one was dealing with uh, animal and human reunions. Seeing these videos of animals having bonds with human beings and seeing the reactions when they see their long lost friend or family member from both sides. Man, it, it just kills me. I mean, last night I was breaking down left and right on this one. And I was just crying my head. Oh. Kind of hard to do that in a CPAP machine, but I don't know if you... It was just emotionally pulling on me. Because... I kept thinking about my own beings with my dogs, especially when I go out and come right back even for a short time. They're excited about it. And then again, after losing my mother and, my, and actually finally my big brother, and I'm left with one dog, I'm watching over like a hawk. If I'm gone for a long time, she'll barely recognize it. Unless she'll keep her ears open and hoping I'll be coming back. It hurts her, I think, for me to be away. And if I'm here all the time, I give her that much level of comfort that she's relaxed enough. But I tell you, I do miss, I do miss dogs coming up to the door and waiting for me to maul me to death. And I remembered all the dogs I had in the past and how much it meant to me having those dogs do that. I'm now, it's like, I remember it and maybe I've taken them for granted as much or too much actually and that's what hurts to me I mean that's what hurts me at this point. I don't think the dog should be looking at me like that I look at me that way I look at my little dog She's all right. I have to look at her eyes. I have to look at the eyes 
let her tell me how she's doing. It's not telepathy. It's looking at the emotions coming through them. Sometimes I am crying over her without even realizing it. Kind of hurts me deeply that she is the only one in the family that's that actually loves me a great deal more than any of the human bipedals or genetic bloodline. I care about her, she cares about me. I've seen all these reunions on television when they do these uh, human interest news articles on these stations and I'll post them on the internet. And yeah, it does get to me. I find myself these days crying my eyeballs out because that's a lot of it. Just so emotional, it was just driving me crazy. I thought I thought I'd be going into the uh, political anger, frustration, and everything else going on these days, but I just wanted to say something about that. I know I got triggered. I still am triggered, but that's all right. I've seen too many postings, too many grieving postings. And sentiments out there the memes. Some of them I have to argue with. I do have to argue with. I have to argue because I don't you know, I'm sorry, I am not at their happy, the lucky level where I'm saying to myself that, Ooh, I feel that today. No, I don't feel that today. I wake up in the morning and I'm feeling like I am tearing my ass apart left and right. Physically, my body is still giving me crap. And emotionally, my body is still giving me crap. What else is new? What should have been new for me is to wake up in the morning and feeling fine and, and better about myself. And I'm having more of an issue of that, which is, which is the normal standard pattern right now. Glasses. There we go. I don't feel lucky or on that level. I was saying in the morning, how great it is to wake up in the morning. How fantastic and I can smile about this damn shit. I'm sorry, I'm not in that in that form or fashion. Because right now, I am in the form of action of tearing my ass apart left and right. And not even realizing it. But I am. I am. And, uh, it's getting to me. It's getting to me at this point that this is the new norm. This I have to accept. I may not like it. I may not like dealing with it. But this is what I have to deal with. This is what I have to acknowledge. And am I okay with it? No. Not okay with it. Or should I be okay with it? If I'm going to be okay with it, then I know there's something wrong with me. If I'm not okay with it, then I know there's nothing wrong with me, except I'm still a grieving bastard at this point. So, yeah. Some people will be calling you, oh my god, he's pity me, pity me, pity me again. He wants more pity from people. No, I didn't expect it, I didn't ask for it. And if you're going to be that way about it, have a nice day. No, I'm just only putting things on my own log, my own channel, to talk about how I'm going through things. I'm not asking for people's pity. 
or anything else they're going to give me at this point. The channel is simply for me to do this kind of self-therapy at this point. But I also needed a lifeboat. In the event that I have to get myself into a situation, and they're trying to figure out what the hell happened to me. I mean, if there was any kind of emotional situation that put me into a mental straitjacket where I wasn't functioning quote unquote normal these days. And they were trying to figure out what the hell happened. I said it before in, other, in videos earlier on that these are breadcrumbs. These are memories. This is my life. Some days are good and other days are a pain in the ass. I woke up this morning not feeling the uh, Star Wars thing. I wasn't feeling the Schwartz or the Force. I wasn't feeling the power of the Trekkie. Even though this is still a sleep shirt anyway. Yeah, I'll get pretty small on that one. I wasn't feeling into it, and I'm still not. Because I still have the depression still going through the cycles. I still got the grieving still going through the cycles at this point over here. I'm going to get nailed, I know, a little bit later today with the crying sessions. And the depression's really going to be kicking my ass. And this is only Thursday. I still got a few more days to go before the Monday cycles kicks in all over again. How am I feeling about myself? I have to chuckle about it. I have to chuckle about it sometimes. I'm like an evil conniving, twisted, psychopathic mantra here that I have to show people of what I truly am capable of doing these days. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just a little bit of a psychopath right now. Mm -hmm. I have to chuckle about that one. I kind of chuckle about things like that. I gotta find little weird things to chuckle about because everything in my life seems to be too damn stressful and intense. And I well, weirded out like crazy. That's because it's a stress relief. Except that I've got a, another personality or more personalities on the way saying, Pick me, pick me, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I gotta come out and make my. I'll come on out of here again. Oh damn, I gotta be back in the back all night. I'm so. You know, writers are on strike again. Do about another month or two, we'll get the director's song going through it. Director's Guild, Writer's Guild, God, everything else is on strike. Third day for that damn thing going on. It's bad enough about, what, 15 years ago we had this kind of shit going on. Crippled Hollywood production. Crippled it everywhere. And they were still trying to get their footing instead. And now they lost it again. What else is new? All right. This is from Roger. Kind of leaving. We've got sunshine coming through. Uh, and my body is still telling me to get past the damn depressional cycle. On some occasions, I actually can work through it. A lot of times, if I hadn't had enough sleep, and I'm getting this damn depressed. Yeah, that's the second. Eventually I'll talk about Star Wars. Eventually. 